Here's the thing, and this is the bit, isn't it, that's got everybody talking. It's the word invasion. Do you remember, by the way, David Cameron once, I, I believe, used the, inadvertently, I think, he used the word swarm, a swarm of migrants. And he got into a heck of a lot of trouble for that. I don't think Cameron did that really deliberately. It was a sort of a fairly ad-lib moment. Suella went for invasion. Now, let's get this out the way early doors, OK? Suella Braverman is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. She's educationally qualified, of course she is. She's a barrister. You don't become one of those by being totally stupid. But that has little or no automatic connection to being a good politician. I've never really understood why she's kind of embraced as some kind of, I don't know, political genius who gets things done. I can't trace her political journey to find any evidence as to why she's seen as the person for the job, the one that has that heady mix of wisdom and political acumen to do things that others just simply couldn't quite work out, but so well it can. My slightly, and no apology here, my slightly crass uh, belief is that there's something that right-wingers like about a brown person doing the job of Home Secretary. There's nothing more reassuring than to have your views on race and immigration endorsed by a person of colour. It compounds and kind of legitimises your beliefs in a way that a, a white person could never really match. And I, I kind of think that's it, to be honest. I g genuinely believe that is it. Pretty Patel had exactly the same thing, and, and look what she delivered, absolutely nada. So Suella has the gift. She used the word invasion. If you didn't catch what she said, here it is. The British people deserve to know which party is serious about stopping the invasion on our southern coast and which party is not. Some 40,000 people have arrived on the south coast this year alone, many of them facilitated by criminal gangs, some of them actual members of criminal gangs. So let's stop pretending that they are all refugees in distress. The whole country knows that that is not true. There it is. Well, on face value, she could, of course, have just been endorsing or emphasising the enormity of the issue. Invasion. It's that big. It's like an invasion. Uh, it's absolutely galling, however, to hear a Conservative Home Secretary talk about them being the only party that can sort this problem out when they've been in power for 12 years. Count them, everybody. 12 years in the big job. You really can't work out how she made that comment with a straight face. But she did. So using the word invasion, it doesn't make her, by the way. I, I, I hate the idea that we jump to... Um, the worst scenario for everything. Somebody says something, therefore you must be a racist. A BBC uh, journalist drops the ball, you must be biased. There's no grey area or no bit in between, no gradient of what you're saying. I don't think Suella Braverman is a pathological racist, but I do think she's a pathological idiot. Immigration, wherever you stand, is a delicate issue. It always has been. Two days ago, someone firebombed an immigration centre in Kent. Now, just digest that for a second. A man showed up with, what, a petrol bombs, Molotov cocktails, whatever you want to call them, and lobbed them into an immigration centre in Kent. 48 hours later, the Home Secretary is talking about an invasion, an enemy, an army, an organised assault, if you like. That makes her unfit for the job. And I said this yesterday... When it comes to immig... And this is the problem with this debate, and I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. You have the extremities over that side and the extremities over that side. When it comes to immigration, you don't define this debate by talking about, and I'm hearing commentators doing this already, uh, the plight of young children, young kids sleeping on the floors of immigration centres, having been carted almost on the, the, the back uh, in a papoose on the backs of their parents to eventually get, having made that journey and having to kip on a floor with thousands of others at Manston Flippin' Airport. That doesn't define what this story is about. I'm hearing so many people. It clearly isn't that. 
But you can also not define this story by suggesting that every immigrant is a criminal with ill intent. I mean, come on, work with me on this. Sure, there's no, there's no question on that. It would be so stupid to suggest that the former somehow defines what we're dealing with here. And it would be equally preposterous to suggest that the latter defines what we're dealing with here. But yesterday, the Home Secretary said it was the latter. It was an invasion. She played to the ERG. She played to the uninformed. She played to the loony tune of the Marine Le Pen fan club. It divides the room. It creates a crack. It creates the debate. It marginalises. It dehumanises. And do you know what? I want my politicians better than that. I want my politicians to be a little sharper. I want them to be a little more intelligent, a bit more understanding. I don't want them playing to that gallery. This isn't about divide. You throw the word invasion in there, which, by the way, everybody, did not happen by accident. That was scripted. Somebody threw that in there. This is a Home Secretary who's hanging on by the skin of her teeth because of various security breaches, because she doesn't know her way around an email system. And yet here we have the very same person pitching up in Parliament yesterday. Could have been a great opportunity to put things right. Throws in the I word when talking about immigration and sets the whole thing back even further. The Tories probably just lost another two seats at the next general election. I know, and I get it, it speaks a certain language. It sounds like she knows what she's talking about. But that isn't what this country is about. That isn't what our great politicians are about. And it's no coincidence that when I look to Twitter and the like, and I hear the comments of genuinely good right-wing thinkers... Most are condemning her comments for what they are. They are crass, they are insensitive, they are dehumanising, and, to make it worse, they were designed to do specifically that. 48 hours after a man tried to firebomb an immigration centre, our Home Secretary is talking about an invasion. An inv this lot coming over here, invading our country, trying to see what they can lap up while they're here. That's not how I want politics to be. That's not how politics should be. A good politician unifies. They don't divide. A good politician is able to intellectually be able to get under the skin of an issue and to articulate exactly what the situation is in a way we all understand. You can absolutely highlight and shout from the rooftops about the seriousness of this situation. I did exactly that yesterday. This is unacceptable no matter where you sit politically. You start throwing in words like invasion and you're kind of, you've taken the subject, you've taken the issue to a totally different place. It didn't need to go there. And then to claim that they're the only party that can deal with this, well, man alive, come on. 03444991000. I know there are people that will disagree with that and there will be people who say, what are you talking about, you arch left eh? Uh, it isn't about that. It's not about that. It's because if you are a right winger and you think to yourself in right wing terms, I've always believed most people are intrinsically to the right. Centre right, I think, defines the predisposition of most human beings. It's because of that that you should avoid this kind of cheap gallery-playing nonsense that we heard from Suella Braverman yesterday. I'll give her two weeks, by the way, in the job. Two weeks and she's gone. And Rishi Sunak should do that sooner rather than later, because the longer it goes on, the worse it will be. Is there anything wrong, then, as far as you're concerned, with the word invasion? 0344 499 1000.